Walthamstow Social Service Office is located in a multicultural area. We have a large black and ethnic community and our research indicates that within this community there is a growing number of elders. We are concerned that there may be families looking after elderly relatives and in need of our support. The purpose of this video is to give a broad impression rather than a definitive statement of the home care service. Our aim is to be flexible in order to meet the needs of the whole community. My particular role is an assistant home care coordinator and I am responsible for the day-to-day -day running of a patch within Area 2 of the London Borough of Waltham Forest Home Care Office. I am responsible for Meals on Wheels, the home care assistance and home helps and the clients. We offer home help, which is the daily um, jobs of laundry and housework and shopping, pension and helping them with their bills. A home care assistant is a more uh, personal service and we would offer that to a person who'd suffered a loss of either mobility or a person in their family and to help them back to a reasonable um, way of living. Um, there also are Meals on Wheels for people who cannot cook for themselves. We do um, supply a special diet if they can't eat certain foods. We look for a caring person, um, a person who will observe um, within the home of the client to report on anything that's dangerous, their, their health and their needs. A person who can understand that everybody is not the same and they will all have different needs. Also, within the ethnic group, which will, we will be getting a lot more clients and the understanding that their needs will be different. Shopping. I don't know what we should do without them myself because well, I know in the old days we had to get on. That's right. So yeah. we had to get on with that. that but uh, I do catch it best the who helps are really a blessing. I don't want to move. Well, I've, I've got very little movement now with arthritis and other troubles, but I, I don't want to move because, after all, I've got, you know, a home of Silla by home help, and that she's more, you know, she's become absolutely part of the necessary. And your change is £14.38. Thank you. Um, Thank you ever so much. You that means you that brought me some money back. That means that I haven't got uh, your meat until tomorrow. Get it fresh tomorrow. Mm. Right. Thank you very much, because it is a kind. Don't you mean that? Hello, hello. Right. Hello. Mm. Hey, nice and great. And what's this morning? Great, great. Marion, get yeah. your breakfast. Yes. Yeah. 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 What kind of night you had? Not too bad. Nothing yeah. grumble. Then I'm always grumbling in her face. No, you never do. You never do. No. So you're all right? What you had? Just a normal routine. Yes, yeah. yeah. What was the dinner like yesterday? Well, it was great. No, no, I enjoy it. I do. Well, with anybody like that, uh, they know. Yes. Well, she knows. But, mm. uh, she knows what everything is and what's got to be done, and mm. and nobody say no, 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 she won't have it. No. She doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she gets. Uh, Makes a tea and one thing or another, and see that I'm all out of bed, you know, and people went in there to help. Yes. That's the money involved. Yeah. 
Uh, well, I've got two, haven't I? Mm -hmm. I've got home milk and home care, eh? Home care every day she comes in. Well, she does the washing and uh, does me bed, straightens me up, like, and uh, any other thing I want to do. She's very good, yeah. Right. Friendly and uh, very considerate, you know, and which they are, I mean, um, it's surprising. I was surprised. I, I never thought it was like that, but they'll do anything for you. Yeah, I was very, very pleased with them. But I've got no complaints. Even with the dinners, I enjoy the dinners. I never had that before, but I, I like the dinners, yeah. yeah. As I say, I'm straight the yard. I'm, I'm proud. I'm good at Very good at what they've done for me. Very proud of them. You know that I'm independent, but they are. I mean, it comes a time when you're very, very glad of these sort of people. But I never thought it was like that, the same. No. Having people in my house, do my house, no. Yeah. Well, I think they're marvellous, anyhow. Mm. No. Monday, she does our laundry. Tuesday, she gets our pension and some shopping, all in an hour and a quarter. And Thursday, she does our hoovering, cleans our place through for us, and we're very, very grateful for her. Um, oh, I just couldn't carry on, because I'm nearly 87, and my sister's really handicapped. And she's such a good girl, I've got to pay her a compliment. She's a personal friend, too. She's so nice. Yes, yes she's very willing. You don't have to ask her twice. And that's not flannel either. <laughs>
and she'll sit there now until the night nurse is going to put her back to bed in an evening. Well, with my particular clients, a lot of them are pretty independent, so I do know how far I can go with certain clients I've got. But it is sort of household duties and pension and, and shopping. But to me, that is um, completely changing now. There's so much more to be done with them. And it's not like a cleaning service anymore where you're just class home help is literally in the home. It's much more than that. It's more caring. Well, um, my job is washing, a um, bit of cooking, cleaning, getting their pensions, paying their bills, um, easing the worry out of their lives, really. Um, you know, one man in particular who gets very worried about bills. You know, he's very money, this, money, that. And um, as soon as he has a bill, you must pay it straight away. Otherwise, he gets, it makes him ill physically. So, you know, you know, you're helping him by easing his mind. And another special um, client, I, all, I call them special because they're all special to me. Um, she had an operation earlier on in the year, quite a serious operation. I mean, she's coming up to 85 now. And a woman of 30 probably wouldn't survive what she went through, but she'd come round. If it wasn't for someone like myself and other home caring people, there's no way that she'd be alive today. I know that certainly. So we do give a very caring and loving service. We get on the van and then we go around and we pick the people up. Um, those on wheelchairs have got to come up on the tail lift and strap in. Uh, once we've picked them all up, we go straight to Stratford and then we unload everybody and then we go around the shops. Um, I'll have a wheelchair. Janet can't push a wheelchair, so she has somebody who's walking. And then we do the shopping. Wherever they want to go, we take them. Get what they want, mm -hmm. and then sometimes you have time for a cup of tea before we come back and get back on the van and come back home. Unload them all again. Mm -hmm. That's the end of it, sort of thing. Well, I think, um, well, I know one or two that I've had particularly, there is the independence of being able to shop themselves mm -hmm. and not having to rely always on the home help doing it. Mm -hmm. Because to say, naturally, the home helps can only shop locally and the prices are dearer in the local shops. And very often, they don't get what they want. Mm -hmm. It's through nobody's fault. Mm -hmm. and, and they just... They just um, said, oh, isn't it lovely to come out and say, oh, I can say, and we have to wheel, we wheel them all around. They love going around Sainsbury's mm. and all the big stores, you know. They're a bit upset now that Marks and Spencer's have closed Stratford, but uh, they love going around Stratford and Boots and all around there and having a cup of tea or coffee out. You know, something different. They said it sort of uh, makes you realise that you're not just in your own little world. But this bus really is essential, if you know what I mean. It's the only time that we get out together. We never get out together. I, can't, I go on my own. But uh, this is quite, uh, what you might say, just the thing we want. I can't think of anything better. And then we've got the helpers that help to push the wheelchairs. They're all nice people, always the same every week, every time we go. I think it's about every six weeks we go, so you can imagine it's a break. Yeah, we're very pleased. To improve on the service that we will offer the ethnic groups, we have an awful lot to learn so that we can pass on to the home help and home care assistance. Um, I can only compare um, the ethnic group with our white elderly who, um, say, came from the East End and they have needs where they were so independent we've had to win them over and find out, you know, what makes them resist asking for help until the last minute 
and I feel we desperately need to know what the West Indians, Asians or any of the ethnic group, what their needs are and how we can help them 